Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, a new method to estimate uh, quantile ARDL. Uh, this is inspired from the paper which is published and I'm going to show it here. This paper is published by Blackburn and Frank in Stata Journal. They talked about that when we estimate a simple panel ARDL, it, it, it forms into three different types. And first type is the mean group and then the pool mean group and the dynamic fixed effect. So uh, if you go down in this uh, paper, it will show you the specification. So if it's a PMG model, but it will show you that uh, there will be a, a one long run homogeneous for the sample. It will not change coefficient across the cross sections, but there will be a short run for each cross section. So this is a PMG model. And the MG model is that it will have a uh, homogeneous long run and short run. Uh, they, they are pulled across uh, the, the results and the, the, these are actually the pooled results. But you can have a look at the country wise coefficients if you want to have a look. And there's a dynamic fixed effect where only the intercept is uh, varying across cross sections. So there are three versions, but previously uh, you have seen quantile ideal that people have used, but they used is they, uh, they have used ECM equation to form a long run and short run. That model is uh, synonymous to the dynamic fixed effect specification. And I'm going to share the link here in the right top corner uh, for the video which I have already made on quantile ideal. So, but uh, in these three models, uh, the the pool mean group is more common, which is more likely where the long run has a homogeneous across uh, homogeneous coefficients across cross sections, and the short runs are different. So, but in the uh, dynamic fixed effect, uh, both of them are homogeneous across cross section. Only the intercept was changing. So, in today's activity, we will be doing that model. So, I will start with data. I will load the data file. So in this data file, uh, it will take some time to load. So if you have a look in this data file, some of the variables are uh, red. So it means there is some some string character in there which is not allowing them to be able to estimate. So for that, we can run the command describe and you can look. There are a few variables like double and then string which are not usable so what we can do is they we can write their names and write d string and replace so what it will do it will convert all of them into a double variable a numeric variable so that they can be used next uh, this is to encode the data as uh, cross ideas cross section and then declare it as a panel data and this command i pull it is if there are some missing values in the data you can fill it using this and if you have too many, you can use a loop. And there's a video related to that in my YouTube channel. And I have constructed variables like transform into law, creating a ratio, creating square forms. So these are some uh, codes that can be used. Then uh, in order to estimate long run, first of all, I will. Uh, these are some commands that can be used later on to calculate the first difference forms so that they can be used in short run. So before using this model, I need to make sure that my my years per cross section are at least uh, to uh, at least high, so that they, they do not give an error while we are using quantile PMG, quantile ARDL with PMG specification. So for that, what I did, you you run uh, fixed effect regression, generate residuals, and have a look where residuals are missing. It will show that the data is missing, and drop the data where the residuals are missing and then count the data. So when I run this, it will count and then it will tabulate ID. So it will show me that there are some cross section where there are only five observations, four. So what I will do, keep uh, if the count values are above 15. So when I run this and then copy it again and then show it. So you would see that there is no cross section which has low observations. So it means it will show uh, it will not give an error when we are we are going towards country wise short run estimates. Now I will start with the long run. Uh, make sure that uh, the estimates that I am going to do is is for percentile 50. 
you can do it for uh, all other percentiles that you need you can repeat the process so first of all i will generate uh, long run capture drop resid if there are resid resid created like uh, it will drop it generate the long run equation at quantile 50 and then predict residuals and generate the ecm variable as residuals when i run it so these are my long run estimates okay and and uh, you already know the ecm function so ecm function is the first difference form of the variables and the lag error term from the long run equation so when i run this it will become my long run so unfortunately at, at the pool level and uh, there is the, the there is no convergence but if you have a look at the unit root of residuals you will have a look that they are stationary it means there is some sort of co-integration but as a whole it does not show and for my example as a pooled there is no no convergence so how will can you do the country wise so i will i will first of all create loop so i will uh, count a uh, variable ids which is counting how many uh, cross sections are there and then for each id value in the ids i will run this command so it will run quantile regression for each cross section and then store the results so when i run this it will take some time in the background because i've written quietly so it will not show the results and when you see the estimates table it will show you these many tables so for each cross section number you can match it in your excel file it will give you all the shortened coefficients you can see that here convergence is there for this cross section and then when you go it here when you have a look there there there's convergence in this cross section and and, and in this cross section and in this cross section so there are too many there are so many cross sections so there are so many tables so you can export that using as as doc command next is uh, now since we have already estimated uh, the, the the cross section by short run you can repeat this process by changing the quantile number from uh, 0.5 to uh, 52 uh, 52 uh, some other number that you want to use so now we come towards uh, next part that is that we need to plot the the ecm value for each cross section for that i will create a temporary folder where i will store the cross section id and the adjustment coefficient and then i will run the loop again and run the cross short run equation and then store the adjustment coefficient value with the country name so when I run this, it will run quantile regression in the background. And then when I close the cross section, it will, it will give an error because it should be estimated. These commands should be run together because the temporary folder will be removed if they are not run together. Now I will plot the graph. Here you can see that majority of the cross sections have negative ECM values. None of them are uh, lower than minus one. There are only few cross sections where the ECM is positive. So what you can do is you can edit and you can make make these uh, cross section labels smaller and make them vertical and then small so that you can so in this my example there were too many so that's why there are so many numbers but in in, in other cases you, your cross sections might not be that many then you can easily see the numbers and match it with your country numbers so this way you can uh, estimate your uh, quantile uh, quantile ardl model uh, with uh, pmg specification so this model is superior to the previous models that I shared that was quantile ideal using dynamic fixed effect specification. So um, the, the superiority is because of the assumption required here. So in dynamic fixed effect, the assumption was that long run and short run both are homogeneous across cross section. Only the intercept was changing. Here we are saying that the long run is homogeneous and short runs are changing. So uh, and I have only showed you the, the 50 percentile the models you can estimate at 25 or 75 by changing the quantile numbers and repeat it again and then you can do a comparative assessment how the equilibrium is changing because of changing in percentiles thank you very much for watching do do share it to your colleagues thank you